tie it in there, but you can. But the Dow is in trouble with the jobless recovery. And we all knew that once the shorts were out of this market up here, that this would happen again, just as it did over here. Right here. We went down hard, but watch. This time, this is that long move off the bottom. Okay, all that short covering came up out of the market. People were buying in. The stimuluses were kicking in. You know, the attempt that everything is going to be there is good and all. But guess what? The original issues that started all of this had been a many, many of years of compounding various factors that led this world to where it is today. Because if it was good, guess what? we wouldn't be having the problems uh, in other small countries and we wouldn't be having the problems here in the country that you live in if you live in the US so basically what you want to know is, is that your Dow Jones is in trouble and if I were you I would stay tuned if that 10 week crosses over the 20 say forget about it let me tell you another thing that weekly MACD here's what here's how nasty they get when they get into that weekly sell signal right over here you can see what happens this is 2008 that's when that weekly sell signal hit BAM got nasty here let's move over a little bit once again welcome to stockmarketfunding.com by the way um, if you slide all the way back over here let me show you another thing Cliff dived right here. Bam. Tried to put a market in, but there's that other last leg down. Well, it was a fairly deep leg, and all of the selling was pretty much out of the way. And we started the SMF uh, bull qualifier when the 10 week flattened out here, but it closed four weeks above it. That was our SMF bull trend qualifier, which it did. But right now, on this chart, you are going down in the 10 week, and you are four weeks closing below it and going lower, and you are in a bear trend. That's what you need to realize. And it's a Friday afternoon, and it's uh, 28 minutes after the hour. There's 32 minutes left to the closing bell. Down 330. Look at that right there. I got a haircut on the NASDAQ comp. Look at the S&P down 38.41 people that are shorting slide the bid are making huge profits on the downside of this market right now the more it falls the more money you make and then again the other side of that trade is the bulls who are holding in hope thank you I hope that the uh, weekly chart on the Dow was helpful to you and if my suggestion would be that you keep monitoring from time to time of what we tell you so that if you do get in trouble in the market there's a thing called stop loss and you can apply stop loss and get out of the way and at that time at that time make a conscious decision because you do all, everyone watching this video is watching it for a reason because there's something about the stock market that you like now the good thing about that is is that you deserve to make just as much money as those floor traders make and just as much money as anyone who creates what they create and all it takes is the right education the right understanding understanding the events understanding economic cycles stock fundamental cycles and not only that is understanding where the price action is in the indexes and the leadership and if the leadership has been falling as much as it has well then forget about it remember what led the market higher was Goldman Sachs and a lot of uh, stocks like Amazon rim early on Baidu you had across the board all kinds that went up and that cycle is that breach SMF has a mathematical cycle, not an opinion cycle.
nor a judgment cycle, but a pure mathematical equation between where markets are going to go a lot lower or when markets are going to go a lot higher. And we designed that into our proprietary work, it's in our proprietary models and your educational training and your trading. So the Dow's in big trouble and this is probably a one so if you ever listen to the first part of the tape go back and rewind it start there get back to the close right here Dow's taking a nice haircut 50 week moving average is there 10 week moving average is going down at the same time the failure at this green line was a 200 with a capitulation and we slid that bid for three weeks today's the final day we did not take out that one Friday's low it's still in play. That's not this last Friday. That's that previous Friday right here where we had that attempted bottom. And I was telling people that this bottom was weaker than the uh, March bottom of O10 that I had. You can go fetch those videos. Start from January and work your way up on the indexes at Stock Market Funding. You'll find them or dailystockcharts.com. Okay, the market's in trouble. We've had this big, huge, this is a directional uh, change for those who want to listen now. And what you want to be careful of is that when the broader indexes like the Dow start to get like this, that means that there's a lot of broad-based selling in every sector. Things that you even own. Things that your mutual fund managers might own. Or things that you have in your IRA or 401k. Just depends on what you're doing within the broader market. But let me tell you a secret. Learning what we teach at SMF will help guide you through many years of profitability in up markets, bull markets, and bear down markets. Doesn't matter. 325 down on the Dow. I got exactly 28 minutes to the closing bell. This is called the Dow Jones Bear Market and Jobless Recovery. And have a good weekend.